Plants are really complex in their chemistry. They have lots of different chemical components and some of them are good for us, obviously some of them are not necessarily so good for us. But because they're so complex and they contain you know, thousands of different com compounds, they're a challenge to analyse, which gives us some sort of drive to, oh, we can do this. I actually did a postdoc um, looking at some work um, for the National Institute of Forensic Science in um, security. Um, so looking for ways to um, detect uh, explosives uh, was, was what my work was. And then um, I saw the job come up in Forensic and Analytical Chemistry here at Flinders um, and applied and was pretty lucky and I've been here for about 10 years. Um, so what takes me from explosives to working on plants? Um, the types of um, analytical methods that you use are fairly similar and um, basically we introduce our sample and we separate it or isolate it into different chemicals and we analyse them. So the technique we use for explosives in separating and uh, isolating them, one of them is chromatography, same technique that we can apply to separating and isolating chemicals from plant materials. With Jerlik what we've been doing is looking at um, a couple of their different uh, extracts that they use within um, their formulations. So their formulations are all based on plant-based extracts, um, mainly from plants that they've grown on their farm um, up in Mylor um, here locally. Um, and what they want to do is ensure that their extracts are of um, the most, or have the highest efficacy, I suppose, that they can, um, and that they're reasonably high quality. Um, also knowing, okay, this particular plant gives me a better um, yield of a particular ingredient that we want so that's a better one to grow so we, we can grow better ones but also being able to manufacture them more efficiently so rather than taking days and days and days to prepare an extract we might be able to reduce the time or change the process slightly so that we can improve the throughput and if we can improve the throughput then they can uh, potentially manufacture more.